Hey, what's happening guys? I've got a classic circuit you should know today. This isn't it. This is the demonstration that's going to get us there though. So first of all, let me show you my power supply here. It is set for 5 volts. And it'll, it'll clamp the current at 60 milliamps, okay? So what we're talking about today is a polarity protection circuit to protect whatever you're doing in case you hook it up backwards. And who hasn't hooked up a circuit backwards in their life, right? Right. So anyway, this video is brought to you by Solder Stick. More about that later. All right, let's get started. So if we take the most simple circuit, an LED and a resistor. This is a 330 ohm resistor. This is a 5 millimeter LED. And we hook it up, hooking up the grounds first always. You can see our LED lights. If we go to our power supply, you can see we're pulling between 5 and 7 milliamps, about a quarter of a watt. All good. But if we reverse it, we get nothing. Because, of course, the diode is a one way valve. And you can take a look here at the power supply. You can see nothing's happening. And in this case, low voltage, low current, you know, nothing's really going to happen. Everything should be okay. See, still lights up. But if you're having something, a uh, circuit that is more sensitive, you could easily blow it up, especially if you're using ICs. So we will simply put together a polarity protection circuit. You may have seen this circuit before, used in a different way. I know some of you are already out there screaming because you know exactly what it is. But don't give it away to those who don't know yet because it's kind of interesting. So what is it? Do you have the answer yet? So, we bring our V in here, like so, and there's our ground. Now, we take this point here, becomes our V out, bring this one over here. And this becomes our new ground, we'll call it. We'll just, we'll just call it ground for, for now. <clears throat> so, it is simply a bridge rectifier. But it's also a full bridge rectifier. A little homage to the great Electro Boom. Here's the circuit. Just like I showed you, here are our diodes, 1N4007s, any regular rectifier diode is fine. All of the diodes point towards here. This is our DCV out. Here are our inputs. So all we have to do is hook up our circuit. Now we're hooking it up with correct polarity, you can see our LED lights. Because we're going through the diodes and there's a little loss, we're only at 3 milliamps and 0.15 watts. But here's the magic. We swap them around. She still lights, still using the same amount of power. One more time in case you didn't believe me. Ready? No matter which way you hook it up. It just works. So like I said earlier in the video, it is sponsored by Solder Stick. 
and solder stick solder stick has a whole lot of products that are great they have the uh, solderless butt connectors they have rings and eyelets and spade connectors connectors complete instructions on how to apply them on the website And they are a good price, $24.99. Unless you're a mechanic using these every day, that box is probably enough to last you for the rest of your life. Covering everything you can see from 10 gauge all the way up to 24 gauge. It has a bit of a special solder that melts at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat shrink tubing around it, adhesive to hold everything together. You put your project together with these, you're probably going to be good to go for a long time solder stick there's a link and a discount down below so remember if you're putting together a circuit with some sensitive parts and just about any circuit's going to have sensitive parts honestly you can put a bridge rectifier in your circuit it doesn't have to be made out of discrete components you can buy a monolithic bridge rectifier and add that as well and whichever way you hook up your circuit will be safe all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.